It's almost Halloween. This week, decorations. Earlier this spring, I found a whole bunch of driftwood that had washed up from one of the storms. And it was finally time I need to get this dealt with before winter because, well, I just don't feel like having it snowed on. I started off by cutting these into a bit more manageable pieces, something that I could get into the basement and work with the tools with. And for the sake of these things not rolling around and falling off while I'm trying to cut them, a few clamps, some blocks, and some well-positioned bungee cords. Technically this would have been a lot easier with a chainsaw, but you work with what you have. And the sawzall with a really long blade seemed to work just fine. Now that they're cut, and in the basement, I guess I have to figure out what to do with them. I decided to go with two different sized pumpkins, both of them would be standing on their own. So I needed the flat and the bottom side, and I figured it would be easier to go as one big piece. So I MacGyvered up some handles, front and back, and took it to the jointer. If you're going to do this at home, make sure you're very familiar with the jointer already, and be very aware this thing can kick it back and throw it halfway across the room. Make sure you keep respect for your tools. Remember, they can help you make beautiful things, or they can rip your arm off. Either one. With one side now flat, I can very safely take it to my chop saw and cut it on there without it rolling accidentally. There's many different ways of cutting cookies off of a log. Most of the time I use a bandsaw, but because I was able to make one side flat, this was the cleanest blade I had. I'm light sand and these ones are ready. The larger pumpkins is where it got really complicated really quickly. First off, I couldn't take it through the jointer in order to flatten one side, so I ended up having to make a makeshift jig on my table so that it would hold in place in order to use my handheld planer. This is also a good alternative to flattening the small pumpkins if you, say, don't have a jointer or you feel this is a little bit safer for you. With it flat on one side, I took the belt sander just to polish it up a little and they very happily took it over to my bandsaw so I could slice it. Or... that's what I thought. Turns out my bandsaw only goes up to 6 inches, and this log is 7. So we have to figure out what else can cut this log. New plan. Back to the table. And screwing the piece down again, clamping it in place, and we'll slice it with the with the sawzall, just like we did outside, right? Maybe. Okay, a few extra screws and then slice it with the sawzall. Right? Except, unlike outside, for some reason the sawzall wants to cut on an angle down here. That's not working. New plan. Table saw. Okay, new plan is more dangerous than the last plan. Not doing that plan. Back to the table, back to the vise. This time, circuit the saw. 
Okay, cutting on the flat side was easy. Now, cutting on the round side to try and have it line up. And the blade's still not long enough. So, Sawzall, again. The moral of the story is you can use whatever tools you have to get the project done. But ultimately, go wrench a chainsaw. Now that that ordeal is over, some light sanding with 50 grit belt sander. And then the bomb sander. Now we have some nicely polished wood cookies that don't look like pumpkins. So we're going to make them look like pumpkins. With a little bit of color wash. This is just basically some craft paint mixed with some water just to kind of create my own stain. I didn't want to cover up the grain and the rings of the wood but I did want to color it orange so that's why I went with this kind of stainy color wash. And then once that was done I gave it a light sand to even lighten it a little bit more in the center. Now for some faces. Now I would burn my faces on because, well, that's my attempt at painting it on. But if you don't have a wood burner and you have better painting skills than I do, feel free to paint the faces on. I gave each log a quick sketch, burned the outline, and then shaded it in to the point of where I liked it. It was a little more time consuming than painting but I think it turned out a lot better than my attempt at painting it on. I like them. They're happy pumpkins. Well that's it from driftwood to happy pumpkins. If you want to see some more wood chip Liz videos, click on the, some of the links here and don't forget to subscribe. Happy Halloween everyone!